Hi guys, this is Brad from Brad's Trains, and today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this Lionel Legacy GP30. And this is going to be like a um, an opinion review, not really a full detailed review, but this is going to be more like a um, just my thoughts on the locomotive. So, to get started with the details, I think it has very good detail. It has pretty much all the detail that you could expect. It's got like drop deck plate here. It's got separately applied truck details. And overall, just it looks very nice. The only thing that is really missing as far as the detail goes is on the steps. There are no perforated holes in the trucks for drainage. Um, it's not really a big deal, but that's the only thing that I found that was really missing. Um, the windows do not open. That's another thing, but Overall, the detail is very good, and it does have these cool movable windscreens on um, on the windows. So the the detail on this locomotive is really good, and if you're somebody who likes a very detailed locomotive, then this is a good engine for you. Now, um, now to get on with the features of the locomotive, like the sound, I think this engine sounds very good. The startup is very good, and the Everything but the crew talk really. The crew talk and the bell are not my favorite because they've just been reusing the crew talk and the bell. But the prime mover sounds and the horn are very good in my opinion. So let's go ahead and start it up. Dispatcher here. Do you copy? Over. Roger that. Please start up and stand by. Copy that, dispatcher. Starting up the engine. Out. <laughs> Right now the locomotive's volume is set two levels from the top. I'll turn it all the way up so you can hear how loud it is. And there's its maximum volume, so you shouldn't have any problem hearing it from any point on your layout. Okay, let's give a listen to some of the sounds. I'll play the horn. I really like this first tone of the of the horn. It's uh it's got a nice tone to it. Here's the bell. Here's some of the crew talk. Dispatcher here. Please hold your position. Over. Yes, sir. Standing by. Now. Dispatcher, try to hold our schedule. Can I get a clear signal? Over. Negative. Hold your position. Over. Gotcha, dispatcher. Waiting for clear. Out. Here is the um, refuel sounds. You get these by holding the reset button on your legacy remote. It is um, number zero on the keypad here, or on the uh, touchpad. Okay, now I'll run through some of the RPM sounds on this locomotive.
now we're back at idle. This locomotive probably has my second favorite prime mover sounds out of any locomotive in my collection. And the only engine that I think sounds better than this is the SC40-2 from Lionel that I have. But these, this engine does sound great. I'll go ahead and run this locomotive now. As usual with Lionel, this locomotive has great low speed operation even down to its first speed step. Also keep in mind that this locomotive does have good pulling power, it has two vertical flywheel motors, one for each truck, so it does have good pulling power. This is a great locomotive, and if you're looking to add a Jeep to your layout, this Legacy GP30 is not a bad choice. It has great sound and great detail, and it runs fantastically. So, I recommend it completely. Um, a couple things I didn't point out during the reviews. Yes, it does have a smoke unit, and um, it does have um, sequence control if you hold down the AUX1 button. But I, I'm not a big fan of sequence control. I rather control the sounds myself. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.